Hello, I'm not audible, right? You can start. Okay. So today's discussion is that uh, first we have to do uh, that web pack installation. That is means earlier some noise is coming. So can you please unmute this? So earlier we have done that how we have to install React through the CLI. We have to install the React. <clears throat> uh, through your npm modules now today i'm going to show that how we can install or configure react.js through the web pack and this is the cons consecutive session after that on the top of that web pack that demo what i will do i will create one redux application on that part so react and redux both will be integrated and also be Redux thunk kind of things also be there. So first we have to understand that Webpack. So Webpack is a modular, right? Babel and Webpack. So Babel is a compiler. It can compile that TypeScript or JavaScript uh, that and to package JavaScript, right? So that uh, how we can do that. This thing I am going to introduce. So let's me share my screen. My screen is visible, right? Then this confirm for us. Screen is visible, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. So you can see that uh, there's a React ecosystem. So React and Redux on the top that state management. We can manage our state through the Redux. And also that if you have API call, if you have uh, server side calling, so Redux thunk is introduced on after that. And also the reselect one option is there. So that is also library. Similar type of Redux, okay and how we can working on that part so step by step i will come and also that reselect and that is the style component that is also important in the react and redux application so you have to configure the style component radium this kind of things and we have to add that part in that as a css module in the react okay so first we have to know that web pack installation i'm going to start you all know npm init um, npm init minus y if you do only npm init that means step by step your uh, package.json file that will be created it will ask some questions like package name versions author name github repository but if i will do minus y so it will create by default the settings will be there so on that part it will create one package json file right this is a package json file you have to see that package.json file is there what will do i'll create one public folder that earlier i also shown that thing public folder and also in the same root we'll create one SRC folder. That is your SRC folder. The public folder I will create one index.html file. Doc type HTML. HTML. And on that part, I will do add head and body. The title you can add React system name. 
add one meta tag if you wish you can add meta tag also if So div id root and also no script if javascript not enabled in some browser so no script tag also be providing so no script on tag If we will hover, you can see no script element represent nothing if scripting is enabled. So this message will come. So please enable JavaScript to view this way. And I will create one script that is required for webpack installation so src is equal to dot dot uh, dist and the untle bundle dot ps I'll create one index.js file. But before that, uh, one Babel configuration you have to do. So Babel is a compiler transpiler. You have to transpile your JSX to JavaScript. What I'll do? This is the command, I think. One minute. CLS hmm. npm install. Dave at the rate of Babel or at the rate of Babel CLI, the rate of Babel reset ENV and the rate of Babel. Reset React for installing installation the these four packages. Now if I will hit enter, so core CLI preset and React. These four packages will be adding installed. Uh, uh, Kaushik, uh, yes. Babel is suited for packaging or bundle uh, packaging, right? No, no, this. Transpiler, transpiler the JSX code to uh, okay. uh, JSX to JavaScript. Okay, JavaScript. this okay. transpiler, it's not packaging. Webpack I will create now, so that uh -huh. time it will bundle the code. Webpack, webpack bundler that is called for bundling okay. the webpack package. Okay, that is not the, for the bundling purpose. That is what if you are transpiling the code into JSX, so that is Babel is used for that. So four packages I have to install. So it will take some time. Okay, 
till now have to create one file that is babel.lrc dot b a b l rc this file have to create but need to install the packages first And here I have to add table files that is called presets. Also at the rate of table preset env comma the rate of table slash preset react you have to add in the babel lrc file one minute problem is there already Has any node model installed? No. Is installing still? Yeah. So you can see that one to the four packages has installed, right? So if you go in the package.json file, so this is the dependency, Babel dependency. And we have to add this file, Babel LRC. Now, we are, uh, next task is that we have to create one web pack file. What I will do? I will create one a public folder. It should be in the root. Only will cut it and paste here. Yes, it should be in the root. Then you have to do one file that is web pack. 
Dot create Dot creates. This is the webpack config dot js file. Have to create. And in the SSC folder, I will create one file that is index dot js. I will create this thing. Also, app dot js. Boot React from React import dot dot CSS. So I will create one app dot CSS. const app deep last name that is there from hello world And put default your app. And app.css normal on CSS that I will add. Margin URL and your font family. And that will be Arial. And index touches import react from react import react dom from react dom. Import your app from dot app dot shares. And react dom dot render app document dot get element by id that is your root now configure that webpack config file But for webpack installation, we require another npm packages. That is npm install webpack <coughs> webpack webpack CLI.
check if server style loader and your CSS loader and pebble loader. To check in payment to save the web back CLA. So yes. No. So this individual packages you have to install for the your CSS loader, Babel loader, and the style loader. So when it will be installed, then we will configure that web pack. But it will take also some time, and in the dependencies, you can set it. You can get these dependencies. Is there any document for uh, means, uh, guiding us to which dependency we have to install at uh, for what type of? No, you can you can get it from that any uh, React uh, uh, official package means official website that you will get. Okay, if you want to install the web pack or this kind of things. So this is there, okay. Or otherwise, I have also shared the means that material I also provide from my side. All the comments, all the tools, whatever I will install, that step by step will share with you, okay. Okay. Hmm. But for the demons purpose, we have to understand what we are going to add at this thing. So notes and materials I have, I can share with you. You can see that css loader style loader webpack cli dev server so that is that dependencies right that we have to add now we have to configure webpack so what we will do webpack config.js here i will concentrate what i i can write because i have to configure these things and from that webpack i will run the pack, run that application So path that is the core module means you no need to install any path kind of package right you can see the path module this is a utility module i can say that for if you want dynamic path or if you have some directed is if you link the directory to path so this is the module path module when you install node modules this will come this is the not react module that is that utility module of node so you no need to install this kind of things by default when you install the node modules npm install it will come along with these things but on webpack so require webpack now you have to do module dot export What I will write, it's an object to entry. Dot RC slash index dot yes. That means this is the entry point I will take, right? Index dot JS it will take. So inside the SRC index dot The mode will be development and one thing it is your module rules that is paste is if that means js jsx it will accept for this module and dollar slash
what will exclude means we cannot consider node modules when you run the web pack so we have to exclude the node modules node underscore modules and loader that is my babel loader we have to put it comma options that is presets clone edit of table env so table become from here okay all are set in the root direction not in the src not in the public babel and oipack both in the root comma finish test now i have to consider css part dot css and use file loader file css loader and resolve that is your extension or comma dot js comma dot jsx that is my resolver and comma that out this is up to this part rules module result You have to set your path. Path dot result underscore underscore directory name comma list public. this file name that is your bundle.js after output a server and content base that is my path dot join three training public By default, your port should be mentioned here. Three thousand. Public. 
HTTP local host it slash test hot only to now plugins what plugins i will add that is me installed way back of it paper dot Hot model replacement plugin. Now I'm going to run. It will. One command is there. CLS. NPX. This command I will add in the package JSON file. First I will going to run it. It will show error because. I will tell you this dev server is what I'm right uh, adding that is the previous version command that if you have uh, webpack 5.7.50 that is the different command that I will say but before that 5 3 or 4 this command was working so that is that old command this command I will replace with that public uh, what is the for 5.75 on this dev server command but first i have to run this things npx web web pack dev server mode So it not understood that public or this configuration that I will replace with this comment. Public part is the. Minute. This thing. No. This is the web command. That is the old. Copy. To install one thing that is your npm install react react dom I have to install this thing first because the independencies you can see that react is not there so other yeah, so dependencies react and react off. It will be there. Yeah. Now, this command will run. One minute.
seven computer. Yeah. You can see that we, now it's running from that webpack dev server. Earlier it will require some React script, right, for loading that thing. So I'm not adding any React script, only React DOM and React I've added. I will go. I think local host 3000. Yeah. Coming. That is a configuration of OPEC dev servers. So there is a Babel loader, style loader, CSS loader you have to add. The rules. Is there any questions on top of that? Okay, so next thing is that I uh, observe one thing in that app.js, whatever we are going to change, then you have to reload this thing, na? and then also reload, then this changes effect, right, in the view. So instead of that, if you will do some hot loader, that is also introduced in the ES6. Hot loader means if you are adding something, you no need to refresh. It automatically refreshes the page. Okay. So that is a comment. NPM install save. Dev React Hot Loader. The Hot Loader. Wherever you add the hot loader, just have to import. Import hot. from React hot loader. And it is also EQC, higher order component. So you'll add hot, add your module. And you have to wrap your application. One script that you have to add in the package.json file after that. You have to add this thing and also you have to add one comment in the package.json file. Kaushik, Kaushik, one minute. Yes. Uh, the way the syntax you have used uh, with yeah, year, year, art have, yeah, year, and yes. number line, line. Yeah. yeah. So, can you please explain what is this syntax? Art yes. module. Which, what telling. is the parameter? The hot module is that that means if I add something in the code base, right? If you need some changes, update, right? So before no, that, no, no, I'm asking like here, art, 
Oh uh, yes. Okay. Module. Which is the param? What is the parameter? And no, why we are that, giving that you have to wrap your application in which application you want to provide that hot lead order, right? Means this okay. is the HOC higher order component. I remember in that one session I show how to create yeah, yes, yes. higher yes. order component and you have to wrap this higher order okay. component. So this is the higher order component. You can see that marks module okay. and return say HOC. Here completely written this thing to mark a component inside is hot exported. So higher order component main concept is that you have to pass different different components as an argument and will return a new component on that. So this is you no need to create a hot module by your custom. That custom thing I have shown you how to create hot uh, HOC and how to import these things in one of my session, right? So yes, that is the thing. Just I have to import because you have to import through that hot reloader. You can see React hot reloader. That okay, module okay. Is bad, okay? So and one one more one more doubt I have uh, in number nine. Yeah. Line number nine. Uh, nine number line. I'll go one minute, please. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, see, art uh, parenthesis is the uh, is the parameter. Then again, art is also a parameter, right? Yeah. So you if you go in the hot, so hot okay. is the hot module. Any T T means you have to provide generic means dynamic component over here. React dot component. Okay. So you have to add the module. Module could be any. So okay, okay. Any this okay. Is a, this is syntax hot module and colon that is the T. T means you can pass dynamic templating over there. So React dot component type. Anything you can pass over there. So in okay. one, I have different uh, component right about dot js about component. If you want to configure okay. about dot js, so you have to add this thing hot module app. Or instead of uh, app or anything, this is your module. Earlier, what I'll write export default app. Na, that I'm ah, okay. okay. Then I just wrap this thing in this way. Okay, so line number nine is not a concept of function carrying. This is a concept of you have to wrap, wrap your module uh, application is the hot, is the HOC concept. Higher order component. Okay, but it is, is not a concept component. of currying, right? Function currying. Functions? Currying, currying. C U R R I N G. There is no, a no, concept no. of. No, no. Uh, it's not a concept of currying. Re recursive function, you told, right? Recursive. Okay, okay, okay. No, this is not any concept. This is that your one structure you have to provide your module or application, right? Or okay. you have to import <laughs> these things. You have to. This is not recursive things. I have not defined any function on top of that, right? You just wrap okay. this module. So okay. if you go to a definition, you can say allies hot module, and then you have to pass the parameters over there. So that is the concept. You have to install this thing. You have not okay. create any hot module. You have not created. You have to install this thing. Right, okay. that I have, I have, you can see npm install save the react hot loader, react hot loader. That is the module you have to input and you have to wrap this thing in your component, whatever component. Okay. There is no recursive this kind of function. Okay. 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 Then you, then after that you have to create one package inside the package.json file. You have to add one command. That I'm going to write dev. So same command, whatever I have used in that part, npx something, right? I have add npx, npx something I have add, npx web, uh, web pack dev server. That I'm going to write. Because every time long lengthy command you don't need to write, na? so you have to okay. make it a shortcut. So this command I will add here, npx. Web pack dev server node that is development dvlop me connect. So this dev you can take it any other name, okay? 
what I'll do, I'll just terminate the job ELS. And instead of this thing, I will write npm run dev. npm run dev. Okay. So you can see npx webpack dev server this develop this is coming same local host 3000 nah? local host 3000 right now what i'll do i'll test it's working or not just do one thing i did and you have to do this i just change the value It. Just close it and save. I am not going to reload right in my page. Any name you can uh, just save. You just want to save and it will reflect. And this is called as a virtual DOM. What is? this is is this a virtual dom like no 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 this is not a virtual dom virtual dom is a concept okay means okay, whatever okay. you have right like you see in the index dot react dom dot render na? so react dom dot render i will render the app na? so whenever i do this functionality react dom dot render so it directly not goes to the web server website or application the changes that will reflect in the virtual DOM and then virtual DOM updates with its nodes in which node they are going to update if any changes has been occurred inside the node or if there are any modifications accordingly it will update that virtual DOM and virtual DOM to one replica set will go to the your web server means website or application okay so you can see react and react DOM both are different modules we are not uh, we we are not going to write react dot render we have to write react dom dot render that means react dom is responsible for dom related activities okay if you go react dom and see this thing this is your core module of react dom hmm. multiple function they have written and we just call it you have to just add it okay react dom dot render if you see copy and the render function you can see it's render and it should be renderer it's the interface they have created in the renderer it will it is calling from react dom dot render okay that you no need to add this thing when you install na? react and react dom that time both both have been installed in your node modules inside there you can see that babel babel cli wait pack everything is installed we are just going to call in no need to create any complex logic to the node model this thing we just create and we have to utilize this thing in our code base you have to concentrate on the business logic whatever the logic you have to provide it that you have to solve but the configuration kind of things node modules has provided to us okay so hot preloaded is very useful concept so whenever you use that that time you can use these things or i'll change that value anything And accordingly, you can see in that web pack, this is chunks of file. Na? Earlier, what they have, earlier they have created the entire module, but you can see the module has been emitted in different chunks, chunks, chunks part, right? It is build code generated. This is that. So web pack you can use in your in your project. If you want to use the web pack, the configuration, 
that is very useful so you can understood that which the bundle.js they have created this thing and the, the, this is the whole architecture they have given that asset in the angular this kind of things you will get in the angular angular is inbuilt webpack model when you re when you add the angular and run it so you can get this type of uh, code over there so but in the react you have to configure otherwise it is not working or you have to install through the cli part okay uh, and one more one more thing uh, actually in angular uh, webpack mm. and uh, babel are in this in part you will get yes, yes you no need to install these things in the angular right okay, okay. you can see this type of output when you run the application in the angular you can see this type of output this chunk of file they have created na? so bundle.js so in the when i you first create the react mod, react part or react, so a dist bundle.js i have not created right so that is the main thing so you can also see that no script that is the concept so no script is not coming that means where the javascript is enabled this command will not be executed no script but when you're in which you can see the no script element represent nothing if scripting is enabled otherwise it will show this message no script element so here you can see that in my case no script is not coming that means javascript is enabled in this browser if you disable this no script if you disable the javascript then it will show this message please enable javascript and one more thing in the package.json file you have to create other command for the build if you want to build I will write in px with back mode development. Now, if you build that npm run build, you go and ls and i'll write npm run build you can see so build is successful right where where the build will be there right so it is also mentioned build there is a dist folder right? the output in the output section you can see the dist folder dist folder bundle so if you now name it OSI, this folder will be generated ELS. Sorry, it's path I have to change. So this the bundle. In bundle file, if you open here, you can see. Is anybody can say we this is not possible to understand this thing because this is a bundle.js they have created, right? So you all means whatever the script you have created, they have created one bundle file in the web pack. It's impossible to edit this kind of things. If you going to change, then we have to search the enter process where the changes is there. So it will create system generated bundle, the bundle.js file. The bundle, the file name bundle. If I will write OSIC.js, this name will be changed. Also, if I'll do it, everything is configured over there. Okay. 
ओके so this build part i will show you and now i have create one just first uh, create one component and then see so we will go in the redux so this cozy and this folder not required Research is your folder. That is your. So this uh, the to do list I will create, but everything will be adding on in there when we have redux part. How will go that? So today I just create one component. Dot case. React. Um, react. Const to do list to do list. and D class name that is list. Rapper. To do dot map. Just will write, but not assigning you to do this kind of thing. At least just will write. One component to do list item and to do and we can do your have to. Export default to do list. Import your to do list item from dot to do this item on css also be required just to create the css but not adding the css in it to do list dot css Now next component I'll create one to-do list item. To do list item dot js.
Save input copy from the on the list item. It will do your to do. Last name to do item on this normal CHS and markup is three. To do the Take other button that is the one class name that is completed button and that is other class name remove button remove Button. Default to do list item that is great. One item that is going to create new to do form. New to do form dot create. Import React from React. New for new to do form that is your on deep class name new to do form and just take one input type text. Input class name new to do input type equal to text. There is other input class name new to do button. Create to do list. And take one const input input 
That is coming from the core module, that is my view state, not from here. Return is missing. But it I think the array destruction not possible. Structure? Array array destruction is not possible. No, no. no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Everything okay. possible. That is this is a some comma and some parenthesis is missing. I think that one minute. Export default one minute, one minute. That till the new to the form. Expression is a day. Okay. That is the reason it's done. And back it is. Yeah. If you attend my hooks session, now you can see that I saw use state hooks. I was six hooks concept I've shown. No. So where is the structure? Everything is possible right here. Let's take one value and that is your input value. And on change event. dot target input So in here in the app.js, what I pre import to do list 
to list and just add it. And the to do list is something you have to input new to the form. Input your new to the form. Now, here I have to add hello. Form I will add it. So what is coming? Here the client is there, right? Here the something client. Okay, so tomorrow I'll look on this part of it. I to create and to do form that will work. Okay. If you have any questions, otherwise we'll wrap up the session. Yeah, no question, Kosik. Oh, yes, yes. So today, just uh, introducing the web pack, this kind of things, right? The next day, that React Redux part, how it can be work, that I'll show you, okay? React Redux, two things. Okay. Mm. Okay. Good night. Bye. Thank you, Kosik. Thanks. Bye.